Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I freeze, cut, and store my bananas for smoothies and ice cream. I thought this was kind of common knowledge, but a lot of people asked me, so I decided to make a video. So you want to start off with a cutting board and a knife, and also make sure that your bananas are a little more ripe. That, those still weren't ready full enough, but you could still use them, but this is the best way. You're going to get the sweetest bananas, and it will just make the best for your smoothies and your banana ice cream. Then I get a large one gallon size freezer bag and a little Ziploc bag too where I store my halves. So all you do is just peel your banana. If you have any rotten parts, don't cut the whole part out, just cut the little rotten part and you could still use the rest of that banana. So for my smoothies, I use half of a banana every single day. So I just cut out bags ahead of time, cut out bananas, sorry, ahead of time where I just put halves in there, just like this. I just use my hands for these. And usually about, you know, four to six bananas fit comfortably. Okay, now for your banana ice cream, it's really good to just make it easier to blend to cut them up into little medallions. So what I like to do is I peel them and I line them up just like this, kind of in a little train here, a banana train. <laughs> and then again, if there's rotten parts, just cut it out. You don't have to cut the whole banana, just cut out those rotten parts. And honestly, once it's frozen and in the freezer, you kind of won't even, you know, taste that. So I line them up like this, take out that rotten part, and then I just slice right through and cut little, like, medallions like this, little token size bananas so that they blend easily. And then like that, you can just grab like a cup full and you can make banana ice cream in a food processor so easy. So I like to just keep these in the freezer and have them handy. I still would love to know what to do with my banana peels. I don't have a compost pile, but I always feel so bad throwing this away. I feel like I could use it for something. So once you zip up your bag, you're just gonna toss it in your freezer. And you can even put the date in the front just so that you know when your bananas were put in. I just put it in the freezer and make sure and lay those bananas kind of flat so they don't bunch up because they could get frozen and stuck together. And that's it. I just put them in the freezer and they are ready to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you use bananas every day like I do. Comment below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.